Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 1, application of matrices and determinants, exercise 1.6, question number 1, second submission. Solve by Ryan method. We have three variables and three linear equations. We want to solve this one by Ryan method. A very first step, we want to write the matrix equation. The matrix The matrix equation is, write all the coefficients in order, x, y, z, 3, 1, 1, here 1, minus 3, 2, here 7, minus 1, 4, into x, y, z of the variables equal to constant value appear in the right hand side of the linear equation which is 2, 1, 5, got it? which is ax equal to b. This is the matrix equation. Next step, augmented matrix is together a and b, 3, 1, 1, write this 2, 1 minus 3, 2, 1, 7 minus 1, 4, 5. So, very first step, I need in the portion of A11 as 1, somewhat very comfortable to proceed the problem. In this case, I can bring A11 as 1 by interchanging R1 and R2. By interchanging R1 and R2, I can get in the portion of A11 as 1. So, first row become 1, minus 3, 2, 1. Second row become 3, 1, 1, 2. Third row 7, minus 1, 4, 5. Okay. Next step, I wanted to bring 0 here and here by using R1. Leave the first row as it is R1 R2 in place. Leave the first leave the first row as it is second row. Both are same sign. Subtract. I have 3 here. Multiply 3. So R2 minus 3 times R1. R3 in place. I have same sign. Subtract. 7 here. Multiply 7. R3 minus 7 times R1. See, I have same sign, so subtract. I have 3 here, multiply 3, you will get 0 when you subtract. So, multiply 3 in R1. Similarly, I have 7 here, when you multiply 7, it will become 7. When you subtract, it will become 0. So, subtract with 7 times R1. Do the process. 3 minus 3, 0. 1, minus 3 into minus 3, 9, 9 plus 1, 10. Minus 3 into 2 minus 6. 1 minus 6 minus 5. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Next. 7 minus 7, 0. This is minus 7 into minus 3, 21. 21 minus 1, 20. This is minus 7, 2 are minus 14 plus 4, minus 10. And this is minus 7 plus 5, minus 2. Got it? So very simple. I subtracted r2 and r3 by multiplying 3 in r1 and r3 implies r3 minus 7 times r1 I am getting 0 here and here next I need 0 here same sign I have 20 here I have 10 so just multiply by 2 it become 20 so subtract you will get 0 so leave the first two rows as it is 1 minus 3 2 1 and 0 10 Second row 0, 10, minus 5, minus 1. For third row, R3 minus 2 times R2. See, I have 20. Multiply by 2, it becomes 20. Same sign subtract. So, R3 implies minus 2 times R2. 0, 0, 0. 20 minus 2 into 10. Minus 20 plus 20, 0. Minus 2 into minus 5. 10 minus 10, 0. Minus 2 into minus 1. Plus 2 minus 2. 0. So, in this case, it is an eclan form. Of course, I will get triangular shape of zeros. If you see any two rows are identical or proportional, which is not possible in this case. So, I will stop. It is an eclan form. Rank of A, comma B. Number of non-zero rows for the first four columns. 1, 2. So, rank of A, comma B, 2. Rank of A, number of non-zero rows for the first three columns. For the first three columns. It is 1, 2. So, in this case, 
rank of a comma b and rank of a are equal equal to 2 which is less than 3 that is number of variable so in this case rank of a comma b and rank of a are equal less than 3 therefore system is consistent solution infinitely many so it can be written as one minus three two zero ten minus five zero 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 x y z 1 minus 1 0 so let's multiply x minus 3 y plus 2 z equal to 1 then when you multiply 0 times x 0 10 times y minus 5 times z equal to minus 1 here i am getting 0 0 0 so nothing will happen when you see here linear equation with three variables but two equations only we are so you want to use one dummy variable I mean parameter, I will take put z equal to some t where t belongs to r. I will take z as t, dummy variable where t belongs to r. I will take this is 1 and this is 2. Equation 2 becomes 10y minus 5z. What is z? z is t. Minus 5t comes here plus 5t. Already I have minus 1 here. Therefore y will be 5t minus 1 divided by 10. Got it? Next, 1 implies. What is x? This is 1. 2z. What is that? t? 2t comes here minus 2t. Minus 3y. When it comes here plus 3y. What is y? 5t minus 1 by 10. When you take LCM, 10. 10 ones are 10. 10 twos are 20 with minus multiply this 3 15 t minus 3 it will be 10 minus 3 7 15 minus 20 minus 5 t by 10 which is x see in this case we are getting the value of x y z in terms of t because we declared system consistent it has infinitely many solution so you wanted to introduce at least one dummy variable in this case rank of a comma b and rank of a are equal less than number of variable 3 it reduced by 1 so one dummy variable here i introduced z as t where t belongs to r i'll get x and y in terms of t in this case also you can verify the solution by giving a particular value for t for those values whether it satisfies or not otherwise you may can directly substitute this x y z in terms of t itself Finally, it gives the right hand side value of the linear equation. Of course, it will come. Is it clear? This is what the way you want to verify even in case of infinitely many solution also. Is it clear? Substitute this x value, y value, z value in any one of the linear equation if it satisfies. I mean, when you substitute your x, y, z, you will get the right hand side. It gives the solution may be verified. Is it clear? A small review, a very first step matrix equation which is Ax equal to B. Second step augmented matrix, write together A and B. Bring into echelon form. After bringing into echelon form, I will base you want to verify whether any two rows are identical or proportional but in this case which is not possible. So declare the rank of A, B and A which is nothing but the number of non-zero rows. For rank of A, B, first four columns you want to verify. Rank of A, first three columns you want to do. In this case rank of A, B and rank of A are equal less than number of variable reduced by 1. So in this case when you write we have three variables but two equations. So you wanted to introduce one dummy variable. Here I used the dummy variable as z which is t where t belongs to r. When you substitute this one in equation 1 and 2 I am getting the value of x and y in terms of t. So in case of infinitely many solution when you solve the problem you will get the solution in terms of dummy variable. Is it clear? So you know how to verify the problem after getting x, y, z value substitute in the linear equation. If it satisfies, your answer will be correct. Got it?